Hi friends, welcome back to Compassion Camp. This is day five of our Compassion Camp, week five of our Compassion Camp, and our last day together. I am so excited that you guys are joining me again, and I wanna get started right away by welcoming my friends the way we have done every week. So let's start with our red square window. Uh, go ahead and sing along with me. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw my friends, they're waving back at me. Hello. Hello friends, welcome back to Compassion Camp. Let's welcome some of you guys by name through different windows. And if you hear your name, make sure you wave and say hi back. Let's start with our blue circle window. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw my friend Ricky, he's waving back at me. Hello. Hello Ricky, welcome to Compassion Camp. Let's change out our window to our yellow triangle. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw my friend Justin, he's waving back at me. Hello. Hello, Justin. Welcome to Compassion Camp. Let's trade out again. We're going back to our red square. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw my friend Cameron. He's waving back at me. Hello. Hello, Cameron. Welcome to Compassion Camp. Go back to our blue circle window. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw my friend Austin, he's waving back at me. Hello. Hello Austin, welcome to Compassion Camp. All right, back to our yellow triangle window and to say hello to a new friend. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw my friend Peter, he's waving back at me. Hello. Hello, Peter, welcome to Compassion Camp. Let's go back to our red square window. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw my friend Jaden, he's waving back at me. Hello. Hello, Jaden, welcome to Compassion Camp. We'll go back to our blue circle window to welcome another friend. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw my friend Michael, he's waving back at me. Hello. Hello, Michael, welcome to Compassion Camp. I think I've welcomed all my friends by name at least one time over the past five weeks. But let's do one more great big hello to everybody, just to make sure everyone is welcome. We'll use our yellow triangle. Looking through my window, guess who I could see? I saw all my friends, they're waving back at me. Hello. Hello friends, welcome to day five of Compassion Camp. I am so glad you guys are joining me again. We have so much fun things to do today, so let's get started. I am always so happy to see you guys. In fact, I feel overwhelmed with joy. Overwhelmed is a big word, and it means having a lot of feelings. So I feel so much joy that I'm overwhelmed. But sometimes I feel overwhelmed with other feelings. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed with sadness and then I usually cry. Sometimes I get so frustrated, I get so overwhelmed that I get angry. And then sometimes I do things that I shouldn't do like yell at my family if I get real frustrated. I bet you guys feel those things too. You feel overwhelmed with, with joy when you're really happy and excited, overwhelmed with sadness when sad things happen and overwhelmed with frustration when things are just not fair. Today we're gonna to be talking about what happens when things are not fair. So we're gonna be using some big words. We're gonna be using words like justice, 
So when I think about justice, I think about like superheroes. They bring about justice, right? And I think about maybe police officers and judges and lawyers. They want justice too. Um, but the kind of justice that we're going to be talking about is a little bit different. Um, it's still it's still the same. It still means justice, but. It, it means trying to make all things right and good in this world the way God intended it to be. We want equality for people, so for people to have the same, right? We want things to be fair for everyone. And that's something that God wants for us too. Um, when people do not have what they need or are treated badly, I feel frustrated and I feel sadness, don't you? If you see someone getting yelled at that shouldn't be yelled at, I hope you feel really frustrated for that person. That's part of having empathy that we've talked about before. Um, and when I see things and I feel frustrated um, and overwhelmed, sometimes the only thing I can do is I can pray to God for justice, for the kind of justice that God brings to make healing and wholeness and make things right and equal as best as can be possible. Uh, we're going to be talking more today about, um, about what it means to have justice, what it means to be with the world. So think about all the big, many things that happen in this world and how we can be a good, positive, happy, joyful part of our world. That's what we're going to be talking about. Today's song is called Compassion Prayer. Instead of, uh, instead of doing hand motions, let's make this our prayer. Let's either hold our hands like this or like this um, and sing along. We'll go through the first part of it twice, so that's going to repeat, and then we will repeat the whole song a second time. All right. Do you guys ever feel so overwhelmed with frustration that you want a fresh start? Sometimes the best thing to do is to take a break from whatever it is that's happening and to, to find some, a moment, some space away uh, so that you can get some renewal uh, and get a fresh start. In today's story, we're going to learn that God loves fresh starts. 
God loves giving people new chances to try again or to rest, uh, which is very hopeful to me because I need lots of extra tries sometimes. In fact, when God shared the laws with Moses, God included something very special so everyone would have a fresh start every once in a while. As we, as we prepare to learn more about fresh starts, let's begin with a compassion prayer. You guys know what to do. Place one hand on your head and one hand on your heart. We do this because compassion happens in our brains, but we often feel it in our hearts. Repeat after me. Joyful spirit, your loving hands are always creating freedom. Release and fresh starts. Help us do the same today by caring for all living things with gentleness and care. Open us to humbly receive that same care ourselves. Make our hearts smile and our actions sing. With your promise of abundance toward the whole world. Amen. All right, this story is from Leviticus chapter 25. That's a book we don't often read um, in children's ministry, but listen to this story and listen to those themes of God giving us a chance to refresh and renew, for God um, encouraging us to rest. Um, let's hear what the Bible has to say. The people of Israel journeyed through the vast wilderness for many years. Finally, they arrived at Mount Sinai where they rested. God gave instructions to their leader Moses for their life together in this new land. These were the things God said. In this land, we will practice Sabbath together. This will happen not only on the seventh day, but on the seventh year. For six years, we will do our regular work and plant seeds. We'll grow, prune, and harvest fruits. But in the seventh year, we'll let the land rest. Even the land needs peace and quiet. Everyone will be able to harvest and eat whatever the land gives us in that seventh year. So Sabbath means a time of rest. Uh, we take that time of rest a lot of times on the weekend, on Sundays. Uh, if we go to church or we uh, kind of take a break from our everyday activities. Um, and that is an important thing that God told us that we as people need rest. God is also saying that the world we live in needs some rest. Uh, so in addition to having that seventh day of rest for people, he's talking about a seventh year of rest for the land. In the 50th year, we will celebrate Jubilee together. This will be like the Sabbath every seven years where we'll let the land rest. It will be a fresh start for the whole community, the land and the people. And everyone will go to their own homes and be, jo and be together in joy. It is a holy time and we will be fed and nourished by whatever the land gives us. In this time, we will respond with justice by giving fresh starts. This means that we will be fair and honest with one another. We will take care of those who are sick, alone, old, or in need of help. We will welcome people who are from different countries and they will be like family. We will work for people's freedom. We will work together to help everyone rest and rejoice in God's abundance. I will bless the land during this year so you do not have to work the land. I promise we will all be fed and nourished by the land's gifts. So in this year of Jubilee, which when I hear the word Jubilee, it sounds like a fun time. It sounds like a party. It sounds like uh, the, those are the kinds of words that I associate with Jubilee. But God is saying in this year, you're going to get to rest. But 
It's not the kind of rest that means you're gonna lay back on your sofa, put your feet up and watch TV. It's the kind of rest that means you will get a break from your usual activities so that you can make sure there is more justice in the world, more equality in the world, that those who are hurting or sick are cared for, that those who uh, that have need, that are hungry, are fed. Uh, and so this is a year dedicated to making sure everyone is taken care of. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful, fresh start? It does to me. And it's something that I think uh, we all have a piece in working toward. Um, yeah, so when you hear the word justice, we talked about this a little bit earlier, what do you think of? Do you imagine courthouses or police officers or superheroes, I think of the Justice League. Um, do you imagine what happens when someone hurts and they are punished for it? So if you do something wrong, then there is, if, there is a punishment, right? There's a consequence for when we do things that are wrong. Uh, or do you imagine it's like equal treatment? Everyone gets the same amount of food or treats. Uh, God's ideas are often very different from ours, right? We're looking for people to get the punishment that fits the bad thing that they did. But God is looking for equality for all, for people to have the same for people to be treated equally. That's the kind of justice that God is talking about. Um, God's idea of justice looks more like all the ways we've been talking about compassion, seeing and welcoming. Remember back to day one? Being brave and honest. We talked about that on day two. Loving ourselves. We talked about that on day three. Being present with each other. We talked about that on day four. And it means we see God's abundance. Um, what does abundance mean? mean? It means there's enough for everyone. We can all come to and are all welcome at the table because there's food for everyone. We can be brave and trust each other. We can be honest with, our heart, with all our hearts um, and we can give and receive care. And we can do the work with God to care for all of creation. So I want you guys just to think with me right now of what a perfect world would look like to you. I think there would be lots of flowers and trees. I think there would be um, lots of animals, right? I think that we would see a lot of people caring for each other um, and less people hurting each other in the perfect world that I imagine. So I want you guys to also imagine what this perfect world looks like um, and think of that as the kind of justice that God wants for all of us. Hi friends, so today for your create and play you are going to be making a puzzle and there are two create and plays today, but the one you're going to be making a puzzle. So this is what your paper should look like, it should be either printable or in your packet. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut around the edges of the puzzle and you should get something like this. Once you have this, you're going to flip it over to the other side and you're going to draw something. You're going to draw what you think a perfect world would look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a flower because flowers remind me of a perfect world and starting over and blossoming. So you can draw anything that you think would make a perfect world and you can add stickers, anything you want to it. So I'm gonna be adding a little butterfly sticker because that's another thing that I think about when I think about starting over. So I have this little butterfly sticker and I'm going to put it on my flower, which you can take as much time as you want. This was just a really quick one that I did and I finished one before. So what you're gonna do once you're done with it is you're going to flip it over and cut it out on the dotted line. And then this is one that I finished earlier. So you should get something like this. And then once you, and then you can break it apart. And when you're putting it together, think about how you're putting your perfect world back together and how the pieces are when it's broken up. And you can do anything you want that you think your perfect world would be. Hi friends, uh, we are gonna do a second create and play and this one is so great because you only need your hands. 
So we are talking a little bit about rest today and how God encourages us to rest. And sometimes we need to take a moment to sit back and gather our thoughts uh, so that we can have a fresh start. So I'm gonna show you what's called a hand meditation. So you are going to take your hand and put it out. And then you're going to take the pointer of the other hand and you're going to trace over your fingers. And as you trace over your fingers, when you go up, you're gonna breathe in, and when you go down, you're gonna breathe out. So it'll look like this. You're gonna go inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right. You want to do that nice and slow, about the speed I just did it, not too fast. So let's uh, let's do our other hands, and then we will come back. We'll do both hands, inhale and exhale, nice and slow together. It'll be quiet. You follow along. Ready? Good job. I hope you feel a little bit rested. I like my fingers feel like they've uh, they feel good after tracing them and it feels good just to focus on my breath and just focus on my hands for a minute and this is something that you can use if maybe you're having a hard time falling asleep you can do it as many times as you want just keep switching hands um, or maybe you can do it if you're having a, a moment where you just need a break you just need a breather um, and so we encourage you guys to, to try that out. Uh, think about how sometimes, I know sometimes when I am super tired and I need a nap, uh, my mood is a lot different after I take a nap than it was before I took a nap. I'm sure you guys can relate. Sometimes I'm feeling pretty crabby uh, if I'm tired. And then once I take a nap, I feel really refreshed. This is a way to, to refresh by just tracing our hands uh, and just regrouping and taking a moment. So give it a try, uh, share it with your family, and, uh, and enjoy your Create and Play. Hi friends, so today I'm going to be talking about your compassion in action. So there are so many ways to understand and show compassion. We get, begin with seeing and welcoming. We need to be brave and trust God. It also means caring and loving for ourselves so we can trust our voices. All this helps us to be present with each other along the way as we follow God's lead. When we cultivate all the seeds of compassion, we become, we become open to seeing the, wild, the wideness and goodness of all God's creation. We show compassion to the earth as the way of rejoicing in God's abundance. There is enough. So for your compassion and action this week, there are a few different things that you can do. So if you have your packet, you should have something that looks like this in there that says, sow seeds of love. And I'm gonna be showing you what we're gonna do with that. Another thing that you can do is you can plant seeds. They don't have to be these. You can learn about water systems. You can learn about composting and make a compost bin for your kitchen. You can repurpose old t old t-shirts and old clothes to make new things. And you can use reusable bags that you make from your t-shirts. You can learn about the ecosystem in your backyard or neighborhood, neighborhood or make a turn the lights off challenge to save energy. So I'm gonna be showing you the first one, which is plant seeds or plant something native to your area and watch them grow. So this is a butterfly wildflower mix. And so the instructions for this are to kind of soften up the soil so you can run your hand through it or run a shovel through it or something. And then you're going to sprinkle them on top of your soil. So once that's done, you can spread them around. And then you're going to water them. 
So just make sure that the soil is a little bit damp so then you can help the seeds grow and you can watch them grow over time. And you can use a tiny pot or a big pot like this, plant them outside or inside. These are just a few ideas of what you can do for your Compassion in Action project this week. Friends, thank you so much for joining me for Compassion Camp. I've learned so much through you guys. I hope you guys have learned about what it means to have compassion and to share compassion with the world. Uh, we have learned so much in the past few weeks. Uh, we learned about how compassion means welcoming people at the table, seeing them where they're at and trying to meet their needs. Uh, we talked about how having compassion makes us be brave, uh, helps us to, to stand up for people when things are Things are scary sometimes, right? Um, and uh, we learned about how having compassion um, means that we have to take care of ourselves. It's really hard for us to care for and love other people if we don't first take care of ourselves. Uh, we talked about what it means to uh, walk with people in compassion, to, to join them along the way last week. Um, and today we talked about what it means uh, to be with the world. We talked about what it means to have a break in things, to get a fresh start, and to have that, uh, that time of jubilee that God talked about in the Bible. Um, fresh starts are so important, and I hope that you guys have used this time to be kind of a fresh start for you as you learn a little bit more about the Bible and about God. Um, and I hope that you will take what you've learned in Compassion Camp and continue to use it. Uh, Compassion Camp doesn't end now. You've learned so much and you have so many ways that you can help uh, your world. Uh, so today we really focused on making things better within the world that we live in, uh, trying to make things more equal. Uh, and you guys um, might be still in preschool and young, but there are lots of ways that you can help stand up for other people and help uh, bring about lots of justice in the way that God sees justice to be, that equality, that everyone has enough, that there is enough for everyone. Um, and, uh, and you can start that right now. We hope that you guys have a great time uh, being one with the world uh, as you guys put your compassion in action into practice. I uh, hope you guys have lots of fun flowers that you're planting or maybe are trying to find some other ways to help uh, the earth that, that we've been given, uh, all of creation, as, as you recycle and learn about ecosystems uh, and maybe even a compost uh, and, and maybe teach your family how to do those things too. Uh, we've had so much fun with you guys and we hope that you continue to have a compassion full uh, life as uh, you go from here, that the rest of your summer is full of opportunities to both give and receive compassion. Thanks for joining us.